this turret, one gun is fighting the battle of two. Its mate is jammed, as useless to the team as a broken arm to a boxer. All because headspace is improperly adjusted. Here's the story. In this gun, headspace is adjusted by attaining the proper distance between the bolt and the barrel. Failure to adjust headspace properly will cause sluggish operation and frequent stoppage when the cartridge is fully seated in the chamber. This illustrates proper headspace adjustment. The base of the cartridge is held against the base of the bolt and the cartridge is fully seated in the chamber. If there is too much headspace, that is, if the end of the barrel is screwed away from the base of the bolt, the cartridge will not be fully seated in the chamber. The explosion tries to drive the loose cartridge forward into its proper position in the chamber. And since the head of the cartridge is held firmly in the T-slot, the explosion results in a separated case. Only the rear part of the case is extracted, leaving the forward part in the chamber jamming the gun. To adjust headspace, the cover is raised. Using the extractor as a handle, try to move the bolt. If it moves independently of the barrel extension, as here, headspace is too loose. Retract the bolt and hold it to the rear to get at the notches. With the point of a cartridge, tighten the barrel one notch at a time. Then let the bolt go forward smartly. If the action still closes, the barrel must be tightened at least one more notch. Because it still closes, it must be tightened at least another notch. Now the action does not fully close. The notches can be seen. Loosen the barrel one notch, and the barrel will go fully forward. From this point, proper headspace is obtained by loosening the barrel two more notches. The smoothness of the action can now be tested by pulling the bolt to the rear and letting it go forward. Now both guns will fire away full bullet speed ahead. A sure fire answer to a gunner's prayer. <laughs>